Have you ever wondered if our home galaxy, the Milky Way, lies in a uniquely quiet and empty part of the universe? And what if this emptiness, this local super void, could solve one of cosmology's greatest mysteries, the Hubble tension? In this video, we will study the science behind this exciting discovery, exploring how a massive cosmic void might hold the key to unraveling the universe's biggest puzzles. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with a big idea. The universe isn't evenly packed with galaxies. Instead, it resembles a cosmic web. Clusters of galaxies form dense nodes interconnected by filaments, with immense voids in between. One of these voids, known as the keenan barger cowie KBC void, might be where we call home. This isn't just any void, it's an underdense region spanning roughly 2 billion light years in diameter, making it one of the largest known structures in the universe. This void was identified in 2013 by astronomers Ryan Keenan, Amy Barger, and Lennox Cowie. By analyzing galaxy counts in our local region, they discovered that there are about 20% fewer galaxies here than the cosmic average. This underdensity suggests we're sitting in an immense bubble of emptiness. But why does this matter? Normally, galaxies move apart as the universe grows, a process known as cosmic expansion. However, inside a void like the KBC, gravity pulls matter outward toward denser regions. This creates peculiar velocities, or motions of galaxies that aren't purely caused by expansion. These outward motions add an extra redshift to the light from galaxies, making them appear to recede faster than they actually are. This brings us to the Hubble constant, which measures the universe's expansion rate. Observations from inside the void could overestimate this rate. In fact, peculiar velocities from the KBC void might explain why local measurements of the Hubble constant are higher than those based on early universe data, such as the cosmic microwave background. The Hubble constant has been determined using two primary methods, but the results don't align. The first method involves early universe measurements, particularly observations of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is the faint glow left over from the Big Bang, offering a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. By analyzing subtle variations in the CMB's temperature, scientists can infer the conditions of the early universe and calculate the expansion rate. This method consistently suggests a value for the constant of about 67.5 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second method focuses on local universe measurements, which involve observing distant supernovae and Cepheid variable stars in galaxies closer to us. These cosmic mileposts allow astronomers to measure distances and redshifts, creating a distance ladder to estimate Hubble constant. This approach points to a higher expansion rate of around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The gap between these two values, 67.5 from the early universe and 73 from the local universe, is significant and exceeds what could be explained by measurement errors. This is where the KBC void might step in to bridge the gap. If we reside in this super void, its peculiar velocities could inflate the local Hubble constant measurements. This would align local and early universe measurements, potentially resolving the Hubble tension. Recent studies, such as those by Haselbauer and colleagues, modeled how a void like the KBC would affect expansion rates. Their findings suggest that a supervoid naturally leads to higher local Hubble tension values, supporting the hypothesis. What's more, these models align with observed faster bulk flows in the local universe, lending further credibility to the theory. But not everyone agrees. Critics argue that the KBC void may not be large or deep enough to fully explain the tension. Some suggest alternative solutions, like unknown properties of dark energy or modifications to the laws of gravity. This ongoing debate highlights the complexity of the problem 
and the need for more data to confirm the void's role. This discovery shifts the spotlight to large-scale structures like voids and filaments. These structures might play a more significant role in shaping cosmic dynamics than previously thought. For instance, the peculiar velocities within voids don't just affect Hubble constant measurements, they might also influence the distribution of dark matter and the behavior of dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's accelerated expansion. Speaking of dark energy, the KBC void opens a fascinating question. Could this underdensity be mimicking the effects of dark energy? Some scientists propose that voids exaggerate the apparent expansion rate in certain regions, making the universe's acceleration seem faster than it truly is. This doesn't disprove dark energy, but it suggests we might be overestimating its role. The Swiss cheese model of the universe, where voids and dense regions coexist like holes in Swiss cheese, offers further insight. This model suggests that local variations in density can create noticeable deviations in expansion rates. These variations could force us to rethink how we interpret cosmic acceleration. Finally, the KBC void challenges the lambda cold dark matter model, the standard framework of cosmology. Simulations based on this model suggest that voids of this size are extremely rare. If the KBC void is more typical than predicted, it might indicate faster or more pronounced structure formation than expected. This could require adjustments to the model, such as including sterile neutrinos or revisiting theories like modified Newtonian dynamics to explain the formation of such large voids. Thanks for watching. What do you think? Could this be the breakthrough we've been waiting for, or is it just the beginning of an even deeper mystery? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to join us on more cosmic journeys.